Hey, hey, what's up guys and girls? Dimitri Skiados here. So welcome to this video where I'm gonna show you the exact process, step by step, how to install Google Analytics in your Shopify store. But before I get down, in order to explain the whole process step by step, I want to answer why Google Analytics. Google Analytics, first of all, is a free platform where uh, we are given the opportunity to track our visitors and to answer into questions like who, where, what, which, <laughs> whatever. So all the questions we have Google Analytics here. And if you want, I know that Shopify also provides you with some analytics, but if you want to have a really good, clear picture of what is your store uh, store's performance uh, day by day, the best tool that you can use, which is free, is Google Analytics. Uh, Google Analytics apparently is from uh, a Google's tool. It's a great tool. It has some uh, small, slightly uh, small problems, but in general, 95-97% uh, of the times it works smoothly and you can see the whole picture of which is your audience, um, if they are visiting from mobile, what do they purchase, which landing pages, tons of tons and information. So let me get right into it uh, because I want to keep this video short. So this is the platform of uh, Google Analytics. I already have um, one account here. But if you want to go to install, you haven't installed uh, ever Google Analytics, you have to go to google.com uh, slash analytics and you have to create a new account. I have created one account, so the process from here is go to admin, click on the account and click create new account. The whole process, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't done a new account already, it starts from here. So your new account, your given name. We, I'm, go I'm going to use one of my uh, Shopify stores that I have, uh, I run it for test uh, and training purposes. So this is Puppy Spose, and I'm gonna name that right here. So puppyspose.com, I write down the same here, and I write down the same here, Puppy Spose, okay. When someone says select industry, select one, it doesn't really matter that much. So you can say shopping or other. I'm based in Greece. So Greece, get tracking ID. Yeah, you have to read that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no one ever read that, so you have to accept that. Okay, and this is our tracking ID. So either we can get this whole code and insert it into our uh, every page uh, where it says copy and paste this code into every page you want to track, or some platforms, Shopify and some other ones as well, can take you and uh, use the only the UA. But what are we going to do? I'm going to show you two ways, and I'm going to show you which is the way I prefer to do it because. I've seen from tests that run into multiple uh, Shopify stores I run for clients that uh, number uh, the um, the way number two. If we do it in a, in in the, in the second way, it works really uh, great than the first one. So what we need to do is Control C or Command C and go here to our Shopify store. And if we go online store themes and click on here, click edit HTML CSS and we go to theme.liquid I want to go and take this code and insert it right before the closing body tag so you see I have it right here and I want to save uh, this uh, specific uh, code save okay so now this is the way i prefer some another way to do it which i don't really suggest but i i want you to know is go to settings go to online store and here you can paste the code right in here and save but i usually prefer the way to go into theme.liquid so do that and i'm gonna send you 
uh, this coming week some more videos for Google, Google Analytics and how to diversify your traffic sources using Google AdWords and uh, YouTube and I hope you find uh, this he helpful so I'm waiting for all your comments and uh, enjoy your weekend bye bye